Hello everyone, it's Tuesday so it's time for our tip and today is all about how planning turns how into well. So last month we looked quite in depth into vision, how to write it, how to clarify it, how to get it out in the world, what to actually do with the vision. And this month we're going to look a little bit more deeply into what what we do with that vision and how to put that vision to really good use so that it's working for you. And so this month we're going to look quite deeply into planning. And you know what? Planning can be sexy. Bear with me. You're going to find out this month. So hello everybody. It's me, Sherylia, Transition Strategist and Be Your Destiny Now Coach. And I just want to welcome you to February, our first, our first Tip Tuesday of February, and I couldn't be more excited because for me, although February is the month to fall in love, I'm going to say let's fall in love with planning this month. Great? Yeah. So I mentioned we are going to put your vision to good use. Now, how do we do this? Well, this is so important because without your how, which is planning, hint, hint, the why of what you're doing or your vision won't be achieved. And it's all about learning that we getting into really grabbing those how, how, that lovely question and going, this is how, wow. So we're going to turn those hows into wows. So planning, I know a lot of you are going, oh, this is not sexy at all. It is. It really is because planning is the foundation of everything you do. Planning is the heart, the absolute blood pumping thing. Without planning, whatever your vision is, whether it's a great life, a new car, a holiday, more time with the family, a spiritual book, business, whatever it is, without having that plan in place, you're not actually going to meet that vision. And so, do you know, th there are so many benefits to planning. I, I, I can go on and on because it's just so immense. But having a good strategy in place keeps you accountable for making that vision a success. So you're not just flapping around going, oh, I've got this lovely great vision pinned to the wall and I'm looking at it every day and I'm meditating and I'm aligned to it. It's actually about keeping you accountable and saying, how do I meet that vision every day? What have I done? What steps have I taken? Can I put a big tick next to that? So it's not about flapping around loosely. It's about having those inspired actions, which are so important. Another really good reason to, to fall in love with your planning and to get really, really sexy about it is that a plan is going to show you the gaps in your thinking, your knowledge, and your skills. And, of course, this is no bad thing because if you can see the gaps, you're going to have that insight instantly on how to plug them. And once you plug them and you sort of go, yeah, I've done this, confidence increases. So that sense of overwhelm decreases and you're sort of going, yeah, with this newfound confidence, I am so much better than I thought I was. Great. Comes from your plan. Another really good benefit or reason to turn your how into well is that your planning or your strategy or the way you look at things is going to prepare you for the curveballs that life shows and the opportunities. So remember, there's two sides to this coin. Because if you can see the curveballs coming along, you're going to be able to take action to get the bat up and back them out of the park and turn that issue into an opportunity. So it's going to help you as well. When those opportunities come along, you're going to be able to recognize them and you're going to be able to take that appropriate action at the right time. And it's going to be that whole thing of 
having that stitching time that saves nine. You know that phrase? Yeah. Well, that comes from planning because not only is it going to save you time, but it's going to save you money because you're going to know where to invest your time, money and emotions effectively to get the best benefits for you. So it's a really, really cool thing. And those are just three of the things that have popped off my head at the, at the top of the moment. You know, we, we've also got that, the, the thing that I love, my absolute number one benefit of planning is that it allows collaboration because with a good planning place, the people that you're collaborating with are all on board and following the same understood goal. So everyone's working towards the same thing. Isn't that awesome? You're all on the same page. What, you know, what couldn't be sexier than that? So, when you're thinking about your planning, I don't want you to go that, that, that. I want you to think about all these great things that planning does for you. Accountability, confidence, saving money, saving time, putting you on top, putting you where you need to be because that's what it's all about. And the moment you've got that, your how turns into wow. Got it? I know you do. So with that sort of sexy thought in motion, go out there, be you, be great, be wonderful, and have an awesome rest of the week, everyone. Bye.